few short years. His best qualities are drive, leadership, charity, and he believes giving back to the music community is how our city can be proud of music education locally. Let's have a round of applause for David Green, Instrumental Music Director at Independence High School. Next, we have someone who has achieved tremendous success in her career and has become a leader in the community. She continues to achieve in her job, advocating for those in times of need, and her commitment to providing goodwill for her hometown that will never end. She is the first in her family to attend university and has experienced success through many hardships that she has taken and used as a venue to give back and achieve. She's also the recipient of the Good Sport Award, something I just made up because during her interview, I kind of forgot to hit the audio recording twice. <laughs> so, congratulations, Beatrice Trejo, Associate Attorney with Chan Cone Styles. Our next honoree is a transplant to Bakersfield, and yet she has quickly become a staunch advocate of the city. There are not many female pastors and churches in Bakersfield, and not only is she an amazing pastor, she's also, she has a very influential blog called The Junia Project that advocates for women in ministry and in positions of leadership. She inspires people wherever she goes and is not afraid to publicly support women in their struggle to find equality in the world. She has a contagious smile and has a way of making each person she speaks with feel valued. Congratulations, Kate Wallace Nuttley, lead pastor of Wellspring Free Methodist Church and co-founder of The Junior Project. <laughs> this next honoree is a dynamic young East Bakersfield High School and UC Santa Barbara grad who, in three years since returning to Bakersfield, turned Pioneer Village and the Kern County Museum into the number one events venue in the region. She has doubled the museum's revenue of events and turned Red Budget Inc. into black. She has great intuition on to anticipating pro uh, problems and plans for contingencies. She comes from a long tradition of community service in Kern County and has already had a powerful impact on her city and region. Congratulations, Grace Martin, Director of Development for Kern County Museum. <laughs> Next, we have someone who is described as an exemplary, exemplary member of the Bakersfield community who works tirelessly to make Bakersfield and the surrounding county a better place to live for everyone. She works with charities across the country to positively impact her, their own communities, encouraging and assisting in their efforts to raise funds to continue their programs. She has been involved in raising over $30 million for charities across the country, some of which have been based in Kern County. Her heart, brains, and passion are her best qualities. People who know her say she is a loyal friend, a loving family member, a strong individual, a female role model, and a tirelessly hard worker. Congratulations, Heather Frank, Div Director of Development for the Boys and Girls Club of Kern County and Director of Project Management and Events for Studio 440. <laughs> Our last honoree who couldn't be here tonight is on a mission to help students young uh, and young professionals harness the potential within themselves to create the life of their dreams. She has assisted over 100 students from Bakersfield and Kern County get accepted into colleges not just nationally, but internationally as well. She's accumulated over $13.4 million in scholarships, 5.2 million of that awarded this past year. She returned to Kern County to offer advice from the mistakes she made through her own college application process. Her favorite part of her job is watching clients discover that they have something to offer the world and find the means of communicating it. She's also playing the role of John Adams in the all-female rendition of 1776 which premieres tomorrow at the Ovation Theater and runs through July 22nd, so check her out. Congratulations, Kat Klaus, founder and CEO of March Consulting. <clears throat> now we direct our attention to those who are with us tonight. We start off with someone who possesses faith, high moral standing, standards, and integrity, and is reliable, hardworking, and thinks outside the box. He is well known in the community both professionally and through volunteer efforts. He rose to, the C uh, he rose to CEO in a family-owned business taking on the challenge with humility and respect for those around him. He is a lifelong learner and strives to utilize his time in a positive manner. His best qualities are his faith, sense of humor, and dedication to his family. Congratulations, Jacob Pinero, CEO of Barner Brothers Incorporated. We're going to go ahead and invite those, um, when we introduce you, to come up. We're going to present you with your award. Um, and if you want to, you can also share a few things. 
Uh, you don't have to say anything, but it'd be a lot cooler if you did. It's an honor to be part of a prestigious group like this and part of a wonderful community. Uh, thank you for the nomination and for the, uh, the vote of confidence, and we hope to do great things in this community. Appreciate it. Up next, we have someone who was nominated for her outstanding leadership and tireless efforts in addressing and raising awareness about diabetes in our community. Kern County ranks highest out of the 58 California counties in deaths from heart disease and is second highest in deaths for diabetes. This was the reason she chose to, came to, uh, to come to Bakersfield, to take on the challenge head on. She is considered, uh, she, she brings a considered and thoughtful approach to healthcare as well as a willingness to learn. She leads by example, her love for her community and family motivating her to be the best at what she does. Congratulations, Jasleen Dougal, an endocrinologist with Kern Endocrine Center. Thank you all for coming out, and I'm so glad, and um, it feels just amazing to be part of this prestigious group of 20 under 40. So these 20 influential men and women in Kern County, it, it's a great recognition. Thank you all for giving me this uh, recognition. I also want to say I feel very glad to be uh, make it this year because I just squeaked by by being under 40. <laughs> <laughs> so that's it. So having said that, I want to share my experiences of how I ended up here. Is because to this date, I think I have maybe about 10,000 patients, and each and every single one always ask, "How did you end up in Kern County?" I always say I was the tag on wife because. <laughs> Because my husband, who's actually in the audience here, he is a practicing cardiologist with CCMC. And he was primarily the reason I came to Kern County because we wanted to stay together as a family. We wanted to grow up a family. And this town has been incredibly supportive in you know, helping us settle here. I think without his support, I would not have made it this far. Uh, and you know how they say this county grows on you? It truly does. I feel like I belong here. I won't go, I, I think this place is one I would rather, I would, have, I would not want to be anywhere else but in Kern County, this is, you know what they call the hidden secret, I think this was the place. And truly is gratifying, I think I'm reminded periodically, uh, you know when I'm withstanding the scorching heat outside and you want to run, <laughs> but when I come to my clinic and I see those thank you cards, that is my true reward. And one of the best liners that I have to mention this was my first patient that I saw who was struggling with weight issues. As you know, I help people lose weight along with diabetes control. So I had my patient who lost 40 pounds and she had done all her Google research. So she came back very happy, gave me a hug and she said, I have to tell all, all the community about you that they don't have to look up Google because now they have Google. <laughs> So to this date, when I hear these wonderful remarks, obviously, it you know, keeps me passionate and driven towards staying here and helping my patients. So thank you all for support. And um, I feel like you know, this place where I would, you know, I, I think this is just a wonderful place. And I want to thank my husband, my kids, because I think it's very difficult as a woman to strike that work-life balance. And I'm sure all of you working moms can attest to that. I think without his support and my kids around, I wouldn't have been doing. So I think, uh, and I think more importantly, when you go to a grocery store, I was just telling Mark, you know, I almost know everybody. It, it's a small town, but a big town feeling. That's what it is. You practically know everybody. In fact, I tell my friends, every, everybody's business is my business, I think. <laughs> <laughs> so that's the, that's the kind of feeling. You feel like it's one family. You're not, you're, you know, it's not just friends. It becomes one, one big family. And we're very fortunate to be here. And as my husband mentioned last week, he got an award, humanitarian award. And he said, me, you know, he and me, we both came with a dream to this town. And that dream actually came into reality. So thank you all. All right, our next honoree is best known for his time spent on television screens across Kern County households. But in reality, he's more well known for the work he does in the community. 
Whether he's mentoring young athletes as a baseball coach, providing encouragement and care packages to local cancer patients through Thumbs Up Cancer Down, running the snack bar during League of Dreams baseball season, or emceeing fundraising events for different organizations. He leverages his position and notoriety on television to advocate for his community. He would literally give the shirt off his back for anyone in need, and he has. Congratulations, Kevin Charette, morning weather forecaster for KEGT TV 17 and co-founder of Thumbs Up Cancer Down. Jasleen, I don't know how to top that off. Um, I just want to say thank you very much. Um, you know, there's a lot of people in this community uh, that deserve this award far more than I do. Um, you know, all those that uh, decided that I deserved it, I thank them for that. And when he's, it's funny when you talk about the shirt off your back. I totally had forgotten about that story. And and uh, my husband Cody's here tonight, and he reminded me uh, when he was one of the nom one of the nominations that he put in, and it was a, a story of the Kerrigan River Canyon, and uh, there was a car accident, and uh, somebody had crashed, and I, all I remember is taking my shirts off and closing off a wound, uh, so the guy hadn't didn't bleed, and I, I totally forgot about that. It's just those are the things that as people in this community do because we love the community in which we live. So. Jasleen, you stole the show there. Um, even though I'm on TV, uh, I'm at a loss of words. Uh, you said it all, and I uh, favor everything you said right there. Uh, there's a lot of people in this community that deserve this award more, but I thank you very much, and uh, um, congratulations to everybody out here in this audience. And then a quick note, I was talking to Ms. Torres here, and they were interviews, and even though we're on TV, it, it's hard to talk in front of a group. All I usually look at is this thing right here. You guys are not staring at me at that moment. <laughs> Next we have someone who uh, was a hipster before he was even close to being cool. Hipsters want to be this guy. An, an entrepreneur for 16 years with his own store, which is one of the most prominent record stores in California. People from all over the world seek him out to browse his collection. His record label has been featured in national magazines and he is revered as one of the most important people in driving music culture. Bakersfield is rich in culture, but that culture is often missed. This honoree is a pioneer in his field and an integral part of Bakersfield's culture and development, and what he's accomplished thus far is only a small piece of what he will accomplish in years to come. Congratulations, Ron Ramirez, owner of Going Underground Records. Thank you. Wow, uh, I don't know how much of that is true, but it sounded pretty good. Uh, thank you. For all this, uh, it's an honor to be here and to get this award, and thank you. <laughs> Our next honoree works tirelessly to give back to Bakersfield. When he sees challenges in the community, he works to solve them creatively. His passion and enthusiasm for his hometown is infectious. Affectionately, call, affectionately called a hometown dreamer and doer by his peers, his mission is to improve the quality of life in Bakersfield. He understands what it means to build a community, literally. One of his projects, the 17th Place Townhomes, is the pinnacle of luxury housing in the downtown area. But he's also constantly building up others, constantly working collaboratively, fostering community, and encouraging other entrepreneurs and small business owners. He does not broadcast his achievements, but they make an impact in people's lives every day. He is a visionary and a model citizen and resident. Congratulations, Austin Smith, owner and broker at Sage Equities. Well, this is a real privilege, and uh, it's an honor to be part of a group like this. Um, <clears throat> my wife and I moved back to Bakersfield four years ago after living uh, in larger cities for seven years, and it's been such a, an amazing journey to come back and be able to make a difference in our community and help to redirect investment uh, into our downtown area. And uh, it, it's neat to be part of a, the movement to uh, revitalize our downtown area. And I'm, I'm thankful for this opportunity. Thank you. Our next honoree moved to California from Utah with $300 in her pocket. Since then, she has built two successful careers, raised a son who is now 11, and purchased her own home in the oldest section of Bakersfield's storied Alta Vista neighborhood. She has spent the last 14 years working to make Bakersfield a better place through her continuous championing of the local arts and entertainment scene and her outspoken support of Kern County's vulnerable populations. 
She has used her platforms to spread the word about culture in Bakersfield as a media professional in radio, television, and print. She is humble, kind, selfless, and a dedicated friend to the community. Congratulations, Miranda Whitworth Munoz, Manager of Communications and Public Relations for Kern Medical. Wow, this is a really, really great honor. Um, I remember when I got the phone call, I jumped to answer it because I recognized the Californian's number because they call Kern Medical quite often and I'm in charge of public relations there. So I was like, yes, a story, what? Um, but it was a call for me and that was really flattering and I felt very honored and I knew, you know, my husband nominated me. Um, my best friend, Natasha, nominated me. She's a former uh, 20 under 40 alum. And I was really excited to see who else was going to be in the room tonight. And Austin and Anna, I love and respect what you do. Uh, it's nice to see Carla and George, also alums of this, here tonight. Thomas and Ronald and so many people. And I'm just so honored to be part of this group. And reading all about you, getting to know you at the photo shoot. Asha, I love your Facebook page. I instantly friended you and was like, okay, this girl, I'm going to follow her now for forever. So um, I think the best part of this experience has been able to meet so many people and see everybody um, here and meet a, maybe a soon-to-be resident, another resident of East Bakersfield over here. That's right. Um, so again, thank you so much. I love um, the camaraderie and the sense of community that's just taking place in this room, and it really has been one of the most greatest honors of my life to receive this recognition, so thank you. Next we have someone who is intelligent, kind, and passionate about helping others. She's worked for many nonprofits, including the C1N4 Asthma Project, Project uh, Public Health Department of Bakersfield College, Campaign Manager for Yes on Measure, Measure J, and was an AmeriCorps Fellow and Volunteer Coordinator. She has supported outreach efforts and capacity building for a new public health sciences program at Bakersfield College, coordinated a public health resource fair with community partners, and served on planning committees that organized activities and workshops for student participants. She is a brilliant mind deserving of recognition for her dedication and efforts in helping our communities. Congratulations, Asha Chandy, Program Manager for Bike Bakersfield. crazy. I've never made a speech before in front of people, let alone such well-dressed people. Um, I just want to thank my mom who, you know, she is my mother, you know, of course. I came back to Bakersfield after experiencing like a really low point in my life and she's been there from thick and thin and now you guys have as well and it's really great to see the community that I grew up around, you know, rally for people like me who want to give back and want to do something good. Thanks. Our next honoree is a Bakersfield native who, after serving our country in the Navy and receiving his education, came back to his hometown, running successful business and giving back tremendously. He enlisted in the U.S. Navy as a search and rescue swimmer and combat crew chief and was honorably discharged after his service. He is a leader in his company, running the Panama Lane uh, branch of Perrin Murata that's seen over 16,000 patients since it opened its doors in November 2016. He is kind-hearted and truly cares about his communities and those around him. He takes his profession seriously, but in a compassionate and friendly way. He is a great role model who will continue to be a strong presence and leader in our community. Congrat uh, congratulations, Paul Gadillo, Clinic Director for Paramarada Physical Therapy. Wow, what an honor to be recognized with this elite group. It is a very elite group. I look around and I see a lot of my friends, familiar faces, professionals, leaders, just amazing people I've met in the community uh, just within the last year or two. Um, and uh, this seems like we talked about dreams coming true and this is absolutely a dream come true for, for myself uh, and my own family, my wife, who I moved here from Chicago, who hopefully is starting residency and in, in, uh, in her medical profession later on next year. But um, as I look around the room, um, 
I just want to say that uh, this is our home. This is our time. We're all leaders, and it's, it's our time to take it. And congratulations to everybody who received an award tonight. Thank you. Next, we have someone whose ambition and focus and intelligence led him to become a fully licensed architect at 28 years old. He is an active member of Bakersfield Young Professionals and has a passion for enhancing the Bakersfield life. Bonus points for using Bakersfield life in a nomination, by the way. <laughs> he is also an officer in the, a local chapter of the Italian Catholic Federation, a national organization whose mission is focused around fundraising to support local and national charities. His best qualities are his strong, unyielding work ethic, compassion, sense of humor, reliability, and intelligence. Given all that he's accomplished thus far, it's exciting to see what he will do in the future. Congratulations, Joseph Zasowski, Project Architect with Ortiz Melby Architects Incorporated. I'd just like to say to all of you here tonight that this is very humbling. Uh, I grew up in Bakersfield as a, a, from a meager family, and I had the opportunities to go and learn and like do my studies down in Los Angeles at USC. Um, never thought twice about coming back to Bakersfield. It always seemed natural to me, and I'm very glad I did for it's made me who I am today, and I only anticipate being able to do so in the future and make this place a better a community and an environment for everyone and I think we all can build upon this uh, we're all very talented individuals and uh, we should use our talents to make this a, such a better place to live and it, not that it isn't a good place to start but we all have good intentions and I think the best will come from this thank you very much next we have a dedicated talented and driven person who has demonstrated a strong commitment to her professional growth and her community. She is a rising star in her profession and in the community. Since returning to Kern County in 2016, she has ingrained herself back in the community and is, an active, uh, is active in multiple boards and involved with various organizations. As one of the original members of the Bakersfield Sikh Women's Association, she has helped raise over $70,000 for direct reinvestment back into the community in the form of needs-based college scholarships for Kern High School District students. A genuine person with a big heart, she is a strong advocate for the disadvantaged in our community and is always willing to help in any way she can. A trusted advisor, mentor, and natural leader, her trademark feature is her sense of humor and hearty laugh. Congratulations, Puffin Gill, Human Resources Manager for the City of Arvin. Well, thank you. That was flattering. Um, I just want to say I am really honored and excited to be here. And um, this group is filled with amazing people that I am honored to kind of say that I know at this point. And coming back to Kern County was a really big decision for my family. And we came back because it's an amazing community. Every person in here has contributed and is continuing to cont contribute. And um, I just say let's keep the momentum going. And uh, there's just a lot of opportunity and amazing things that are in Kern County, and we should celebrate those and announce those to others so they really understand what a great place we live in. Thank you. Our next honoree is a young philanthropist who works tirelessly and donates time and resources into making Bakersfield a better place to live. He has an abundant amount of qualities that he uses to improve the community. He is innovative, has a drive to continually learn new things, shares knowledge with and is respectful of others, and has a solid high moral value. All the businesses, all the businesses he is involved with, which are, are dedicated to donating several or, uh, are dedicated to donating to several organizations around town. He strives to do everything with the utmost quality, including his devotion to family, close friends, and community. He remains optimistic no matter what comes his way. He also has the longest title in 20 under 40 history as partner at Keithley Maxwell and Antony Giovanni LLP, co-founder of Templar Brewing Company, founder of Obia Records, partner in Going Underground Records Los Angeles, and partner in The Gentleman. And that's just for now. <laughs> Congratulations, Tom Maxwell. Thank you. 
I wasn't trying to make it complicated, but it seems like it always is for me. Um, I want to thank all of you guys just for making Bakersfield better. We have this amazing opportunity to make our community something that it can be. And uh, hopefully all of you that are sitting here today are willing to do that with me in the future. Because today isn't really about the past, it's about what we're going to do in the future. So let's continue to be who we are, and let's continue to be and make this place even better than what it is today. We all have this tremendous opportunity, and uh, this is a small uh, and very large token at the same time of things that I've done, but also I couldn't have done it with all the people that are here in Bakersfield that helped me make this place a, a better place than what it has been before. So uh, thank you all for uh, giving me this, but uh, also thank you so much for recognizing that uh, Bakersfield can be such a great place. It really can. So thank you. Next we have someone who strives for greatness in everything she does, whether it's regularly volunteering for several organizations, bringing local creatives together, or running her own clothing company. She never accepts the word no or that can't be done. She always finds a way. She started her own company when others told her it was too risky. She puts others' needs in front of her own, always thinking up new ways to make the world a better place. She is compassionate, enthusiastic, and empathetic toward others. She truly wants to make Bakersfield a better place and has returned home with a very positive attitude about the city. Congratulations, Amanda Schaefer, clothing designer and owner of Ashe. Hi, everyone. <laughs> um, so, Tom, I haven't gotten to meet you, but um, I also watched you um, speak at the BYP Summit. And what you said right now and what you said then, like I kid you not, just every, all of it resonates with me. And so I just want to say thank you for saying everything that you just said. And I hope that we do partner in the future. Um, when I finally decided that being in Bakersfield was what I was going to do, um, it wasn't like my, you know, initially it wasn't my first choice. My plan was to move back to the Bay Area. But I love Bakersfield so much. I love what is being done, and I'm so excited to be a part of that. Um, I do know that there are so many other people that, um, that deserve this so much more, but I feel like being a part of this, next year I'm going to, I literally could like name off 10 people that I can nominate, and so I feel like that's like a great like just reason to be a part of it, because the next year so many more amazing people are going to get the opportunity to be a part of this because it's so needed and it's just a motivation for what I and hopefully you know everyone in this room and everyone that's been a part of this and everyone that will continue to be a part of this um, will be able to accomplish. So um, thank you to everyone and congratulations to everyone. <laughs> Up next, we have someone who gives his creative skills selflessly to many organizations. He is a businessman, husband, a believer in local business, and a contributor to local nonprofits. He is a mentor to many in his creative field. He's loyal, honest, and wishes for all to succeed. He is a leader in a household of nine, as well as a number of businesses he's started. He is honest, hardworking, diligent, generous, task-oriented, goal-driven, dependable, creative, and business savvy. He is a man of few words, yet his actions speak volumes. He is most comfortable behind the scenes, but his efforts are worthy of recognition. Congratulations, Justin Cummings, owner of Rio Acai Bowls, Lights, Camera, Action, Cinema, and The Beacon Studios. Congratulations. Thank you. I didn't know he was talking about me for a little bit. Um, it's a great honor to be a part of this, this group of people. My wife, uh, I need to thank my wife. She said I had to thank my wife. Uh, she was a part of this group, so I was here last year, and it was great to see her and all the great people that she met. And a lot of the people that she met at this event last year are, are friends of ours now, lots of people. And uh, it's great. The group of people here, it's just it's amazing to be at this, you know, it's 20 under 40, it's people who are actually doing stuff with their careers, their families, their, 
you know, everything that they're doing, um, it's just Bakersfield, Wasco was our home. Bakersfield is now our home. And the community, it's a small, it's a big town, but it's a small town. I cannot go anywhere without running into people I know. I was flying a drone yesterday by, but like eight miles out of Button Willow and a car drove by, for, an era car drove by. And we thought we were going to get kicked out because of what we were doing. And I knew this guy. I did Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu with this guy. And I was like, I cannot go anywhere in this county without running into somebody I know. Um, but I am very honored to be a part of this. Um, I, uh. I wanted, she's going to kill me for telling the story, but my wife last year called me and said, uh, 20 under 40 called and, uh, they, they nominated me. And I was like, are you sure it wasn't for me? Did you, <laughs> they didn't, they didn't say just the email or the phone call didn't say Justin Cummings. And she's like, no, Beb, it was me. I was like, great. That's, that's all. I'm, I'm, I'm so happy for you. But, uh, now we both have this plaque and it's, it's a true honor, but, and I'm going to hire Mark to to come to every event that I ever walk into and announce me like that. So I uh, appreciate it, but thank you. I'd like to uh, echo what Justin just said, that Mark guy is pretty awesome. <laughs> How he's still single is one of the greatest mysteries of our time. I'm just kidding, it's not a mystery at all. Last but certainly not least, we have someone who is smart, driven, humble, and engaging in a way that causes people to want to buy into the community initiatives and be a part of them. She is the change that she wants to see in the place that she calls home. Not only does she work tirelessly for her clients as a criminal defense attorney and a personal injury attorney, she invests herself every day in the community, both from a professional and community development standpoint. She was the main player or main planner in the Project Street Youth Collaboration that received significant support in its inaugural year to benefit homeless youths who oftentimes have nowhere to turn. The incredible work she does makes Kern County a better place. Congratulations, Alexia Torres Stallings, Associate Attorney with the Law Offices of David A. Torres. Thank you, everyone. Um, well, I'm last, so I will make this quick. Um, I guess even though the joke is, you know, when you give a lawyer a microphone or a podium or whatever the case may be. Um, but I just wanted to say, first and foremost, congratulations to all the members of the 20 under 40 class um, for this year. It's an honor to be um, amongst all of you for this um, particular class. Um, secondly, I'd like to thank my family who couldn't be here because they are at the beach in Cabo right now. <laughs> but I do have my sister, Erica Torres Garewell, um, here supporting me. And then obviously my husband, Brandon Stallings, who um, I feel Justin's competition, so to speak, because my husband was actually nominated last year uh, for a 20 under 40. And um, I too was wondering about that, Justin. <laughs> Um, especially since he did not grow up here, and I did. But that's okay. Mark, we'll talk about that later. Um, but yes, I grew up here in Bakersfield. Um, I left at the age of 17 to, um, to do a schooling down in Irvine. Uh, did a couple of uh, traveling gigs and then ended up coming back um, after law school where um, now I work for my father. Um, David Torres at the law offices of David A. Torres. So um, really quickly, one of the things, well, what drives me, I guess, to do what I do to be involved in the community um, can kind of be summed up in what I was actually asked tonight by Kevin Charette, and that is, how do you defend guilty people, right? <laughs> it's the like question that we always get asked at every single event that I ever go to. Um, and it sounds like such a canned answer when I tell people this, but what I always say is that um, what makes it easier to do what I do, because after a while you, you hear so many stories in the media, crime stories, we're dealing with that. I mean, those are, a lot of those people are our clientele. And um, to be quite honest, being in the, the legal system, it can be really adversarial and really taxing on an individual. But the way I do it is I give back to my community I try to be really involved with not just um, lawyers, but I try to give back to my high school, which was Stockdale High, class of 2002. And um, I did, or uh, I helped create slash inspired um, with this Project Street Youth. 
So you can go to LA, you can go to San Francisco, and you'll find a legal clinic pretty much on every single block. But you come here and that just doesn't exist. So it was really important for me to come back and give back what I was able to develop over the last couple of years, um, my skills, so to speak. And so it kind of can, it kind of came not really knowing that it was going to happen, but um, I would definitely say that helping out um, homeless youth, youth is kind of my focus, um, and that really makes it easier to do what I do every day, um, helping out people, and it really is what drives me. So um, early this year, I had to give a speech to 300 high school students who didn't care, <laughs> wanted me to probably get off the stage. Um, because we were awarding them the, um, the award for the mock trial competition. But um, one of the things that I spoke about was that um, you have to give back, right? Those kids are eventually going to be here in this room, hopefully lawyers, doctors, architects, engineers, whatever the case may be. Um, but what I told them, and I was also addressing the legal community, is that the more that you're out there, the more that you can be seen, you're going to inspire one person. And one person is better than inspiring no one. Um, and so that's why we have to do what we have to keep on doing, right? So that way this can be full every year, and that way Mark is always going to have to have a waiting list. <laughs> <laughs> and that is such a great problem to have, to be quite honest. So I just wanted to say thank you so much for everyone. I had to give that plug for Project Street Youth because if anyone ever <laughs> needs anything or knows someone who falls within that category, please reach out to me. Um, I'm always in the position to help out people whenever I can, again, with my skill. So um, thank you so much. It's an honor. And I'm done. Okay. <laughs>I'm not going to echo what she said when she blamed me, but I do want to set the record straight, and that's, you know, obviously the, the selection process for 20 under 40 is really, really difficult. Um, luckily, it's not placed on any one individual. It's distributed amongst a, a selection committee, and so they have the tough task of trying to narrow down that group, which is a perfect segue to how I'm going to close this thing, but first of all, let's have a round of applause again for this year's outstanding group of young professionals. As we wrap up the evening, I want to remind everyone that 20 Under 40's biggest strength is that it's community driven. It's easy to look at the list of honorees, past and present, and notice a lot of notable individuals not included. If you know of someone who you feel belongs in this group, please nominate them. That's, that's how it starts. If they aren't selected, please nominate them again the following year, because sometimes that's what it takes. It's no easy task selecting 20 standout men and women among the dozens and dozens of nominations we receive each year, but a little persistence goes a long way. It's our hope that 20 Under 40 continues to grow and become a source of pride for the city we call home, and it starts with you. On behalf of TBC Media, thank you, congratulations, and continue to be the good in the community.